So we're going to be demonstrating the Sims position next. We're going to flip our patient to their left side. So our patient is now on his left side and we are going to take his top right leg and we are going to sharply flex that top right leg. Make sure your patient is adequately covered and then the arms are going to be back. And that is our Sims position. Okay. We have um, pulled the arms out to where they are comfortable for the patient. Make sure that the patient stays covered and the patient's head is to the side. So they are laying on their abdomen with their head turned. Next I'm going to be taking my patient from the Trendelberg position to the prone position. So we're going to be putting the foot over our bed back down. Making sure that the patient is flat. carefully flipping our patient. from the lateral position to the Trendelberg position. So we're going to very gently flip our patient back over, straightening the legs, and the head of our bed is lowered, and we are going to raise the foot up a bit. and this would be the Trendelberg position. Okay, now I'm going to be demonstrating um, the lateral position. I already demonstrated the Fowler's position and the supine position. So what I'm gonna do is, this is for my support in between the legs. I'm going to very gently move my patient to one side. And, sorry. Your upper leg is going to be in front of your lower leg and then you're going to support the legs of the patient using pillows that's okay <laughs> right and this is the lateral position i'm going to demonstrate the patient um, going into the supine position they're in Fowler's right now. You want to make sure your patient is properly supported through the transition. Okay, so now my patient is laying flat and they are in the supine position. And now I am going to be using the mitt restraint. Oh. I'm gonna go on the other side. He's got an IV on that hand. Okay, now I'm going to be putting my patient's hand into the mitt. You're gonna make sure you're aware of your bony prominences again. And then you want to make sure that when you fold it over that this is not crooked or overlapping or um, bunched up because what it is doing is it is protecting you from this plastic piece rubbing against that bony prominence in your wrist. 
Again, make sure it is snug, but not too tight to cause wounds. And then if you need to, you're able to get to your patient's fingers.